Hey, hello there, Vanagon Addicts. It's Ken Wilford here at Van again. So I just wanted to talk to you guys a minute about the throttle linkage on an automatic Vanagon. So this is your throttle linkage here. It's got the spring. It's got this little clip on the end. This is only on the automatic. Okay. And you can have issues with this linkage. It goes to this exact rod right here. That's why I got this rod sitting here. So you can actually see what it looks like. Okay, so this is the end that has a spring on it. Goes to the throttle thing. Then it goes down to this rod, which actually goes to... I got visual aids here, okay. That goes to this thing, okay. So this is the piece that we just took off of the automatic transmission down on the side down there. And it actually attaches at the top to this pivot point right here, okay. Um, and you can see there's a nut on there. You take that nut off and you put this on here. And that is how this attaches. And so as, and then it has this little ball socket on the back side. That's where your throttle cable attaches. Okay, so your throttle cable on the automatic doesn't go to the motor all the way. It goes to this relay lever that's on the side of the transmission. This little, that little ball thing, that's what the throttle cable snaps onto. And then this right here is where everything pivots, okay? So this point right here is kind of critical because what will happen is over time, it starts to bind up on you. And one of the reasons for that, here's this actual piece again that's already out of here. There's a, supposed to be a special bolt in here. You can see it has a weird head on it on one side, like a non-head. And then it's actually smooth on the inside here. And you have a plastic bushing that goes in here. And then on this side, it's threaded and has a nut on it. So a lot of times people will think, oh, this is just a bolt. Uh, if I have a problem, I will, you know, take this out, put another bolt in. But the problem you have is that in order for it to work properly, you really got to have all the parts. You got to have the special bolt. You got to have this plastic bushing so that when the thing is turning and pivoting right it can it can move as much as it needs to without binding up okay otherwise what you're going to find is you're going to come out to your vanagon one day and you're going to go to like rev it and start it and it's going to just stick like that which is dangerous okay it can be dangerous because now the thing is revved at 3000 rpms and it's stuck there and you're kicking and kicking on things, trying to get it unstuck. And then what usually happens, in my experience, is this clip, which is this little tiny nothing here on the end of this, pops out. And the whole spring pops out. And now you're stuck on the side of the road with no throttle, stuff and things, whatever. Good luck ever finding this clip again. Uh, I have them here on the shelf in a bag. But, you know, you're on the side of the road somewhere. It went sploingy which is the technical term for that and it basically disappeared into another dimension and you have nothing okay so uh, i would recommend if you're an automatic vanagon owner have a spare one of these clips in the glove box it's so tiny you need to have it in its own little separate bag and have it marked what it is and then you want to make sure that this lever this pivot point here at the top is lubricated I usually use some white lithium grease you want to put some of that in here where this little black plastic bushing is and that way you know when you tighten this down this special bolt it won't let you tighten it all the way in other words you can tighten it and make it really tight but it won't let you clamp it to the point where it's binding up Okay, it'll only let you like see this one is pretty much tight as it can be and you can see it stops before it actually You know gets all the way to Letting stuff bind up And so that's kind of how that works. So if you're looking for this under the car Okay, uh, you're going to be looking approximately like here in this area it can be hard to see on the side of the transmission. It can be hard to get to and see because under there, there's some hoses and stuff in that area. So you're going to have to shine a light in there 
and try to find it try to see it it's not easy but it's it's definitely there it's definitely doable uh, I'm sorry I can't show you this but you know I actually it's hard for me to even see it when I'm under there I am you know basically like feeling for it because I know it's there you can see some more some more jungle vines or you know I'm just still pulling out jungle vines but you can see the that this uh, thing goes right by the starter there and then down on top of the transmission and into that area it's kind of like right where you know above where the lever comes in to change gears and stuff on the transmission also <laughs> So I hope that helps you guys out. If you're having a problem with your automatic transmission, Banagon throttle stuff binding up, you know, it can be that. It can also be this one last thing. Let me talk about this. So you've got this ball and you saw, I actually did a video about grinding off the original cable and off of this. Okay, and I tried to be nice to it, but I got a little tiny notch in it. I don't think it's gonna hurt anything. Uh, but again, this ball and socket for the throttle cable that can get bound up also um, and now what's happening is every time you're pushing the throttle the cable end should be rotating okay it should be turning every time you do this it's turning and turning uh, if this gets bound up where it gets rusty and it's it won't allow that thing to turn it's just now it's solid that means every time you're doing this instead of this moving it's bending the cable okay so it's bending it bending it bending it and eventually it snaps it okay so again this is how the automatic cables die is from uh, this getting frozen and then you, know, you can't so you need to check this stuff is what I'm trying to say so check the end of your throttle cable make sure that's nice and free lubricate that with some WD-40 or white lithium grease and then this upper pivot point up here uh, you want to lubricate that also with some white lithium grease make sure that it can move like I said when it's in the car it's going to be like this <laughs> so again one of my ways to access it is to take this bottom bolt out there's a, a big weird 15 millimeter nut down here on the side of the transmission drop it down you can get to some of this stuff a little bit easier when this lever is off of the car okay so i hope that helps you guys out again this is one of these rare pieces too that you don't want to lose or go bad because there's no new source for this at the moment uh, and it's a very specifically made part it's like four vanning out automatic only uh, i don't know if anybody wants to start remaking these out there that would be great it wouldn't be too hard uh, except for this one pivot ball you'd have to source that so that's it guys like share subscribe we'll see you guys in the next video